our religion is, you know, priority. For almost two years, Fartoon Hussein has worked at Diane's Fine Desserts and List Center. I just don't understand. That is until Monday. We feel, you know, hurt and we feel, you know, this is not right. She, along with more than 30 other Somali workers, women and men, walked out because their company forced the women to change out of their burqas, a traditional Somali dress. Women are no longer allowed to wear dresses that go below the knee after a woman's burqa got caught in a boot washer two weeks ago. She wasn't injured, but the new dress code conflicts with these women's religion, which allows only their face and hands to be seen. We want to work hard in that company. Um, we want to produce, you know, product. You know, we have a family to support. We have to support ourselves. They don't like our color or they don't like our religion. I think so. This one really floored me and came out of the blue. Owner Mike Nolis out of Massachusetts bought the company last month, formerly named Diane's Gourmet Desserts. He says the new rules had nothing to do with race or religion, but safety. The, a woman's skirt was caught in a boot washer and she potentially could have been seriously injured. And we just, we're just not going to live with that. He says the company discussed the new rules with the workers beforehand and added the boots are high enough that no skin would be exposed. I've always been allowed to wear pants or sweatpants or slacks underneath their dresses. Even so, some of the workers showed up outside the office of the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission in Minneapolis today, vowing to file a complaint against their former employer, hoping along the way to go back to work. They should give us give more time to explain things. It's a story of religious beliefs versus safety. Diane's Fine Desserts in La Center, located about 60 miles south of Minneapolis, recently changed a clothing policy after a long skirt became caught in a machine. Requiring shorter skirts goes against Muslim beliefs. Scott Wasserman here now with how the policy is affecting the plant and its workers. Yeah, it's affecting them a lot, Randy. Roughly a third of the plant's workforce is made up of Somalis. 40% of them, including women and men who supported them, walked off the job Monday in protest of that new policy. They are women of deep religion who abide strictly by the Koran, which includes a strict dress code. So you can imagine their reaction Monday when the women were told by their employer their skirts needed to be shorter. It's not allowed to take above the where they are right now. It's an Islamic religious because it was supposed to be dressed all their, from their feet up to their heads. This all started May 22nd after an accident at Diane's Fine Desserts plant in La Center. A woman's skirt became caught in the boot washer, the plant's sanitation machine for footwear. Well, I'm glad nobody got hurt, uh, but we're also not going to sit around and do nothing when these types of things arise. That's owner Mike Knowles, who bought Diane's just 11 days before the accident. Knowles said they went out of their way to work with the Somali community. Instead of the original recommendation of knee-high skirts, the company agreed to boot-high or mid-calf. The policy made public during a factory meeting on Friday. But come Monday, Knowles says many women came with skirts just like these. When they arrived on the side, they was being told to take their skirt up to, up to the knee. We said, look, you're either going to have to roll up your skirt to the, to the boot level or you can't be on the floor. A certain number of them walked out. When she reviews, they tell her to bring the badge and go home. Well, there's no question that the employees that walked out walked out on their own. She felt discriminated and she felt that it was isolated from other communities. So what's the solution? The group says shortening the skirts goes against the Koran, but they would be willing to pull up their skirts during the quick sanitation process. That yeah. would be acceptable? Yeah, that would be acceptable. Do you guys want to return to work? Yeah. If they were to come to you and said you're violating our religious beliefs, what would your reaction, your comment be to that? My comment is uh, we had a safety issue that we addressed and we made a reasonable accommodation. Now an additional compromise the owner tells me is that they do allow pants, sweatpants, leggings, all to be worn to cover the leg. The Somali community repeats that the skirts must go to the shoe level. They say until the policy is changed, they won't go back to work. The owner says they are actively looking for replacements, which does include members of the Somali community. Randy? Well, Scott, a lot of times companies with these kinds of issues will solve the problem by allowing the employee or employees to work in another part of right. the facility, or in this case, the plant. Why can't that happen in this case? Well, when you enter the facility, a worker who enters the facility, or anyone for that matter, even someone like me, you have to go through that boot sanitation. So anyone who goes through the building has to go through that. So there is not another area where they could work where they'd be able to avoid the boot sanitation. This is so, a food processing. There's, there's right. food involved here. So food processing, so there has to be sanitation. They have to go through that with their feet. All right.